What we wanted to do with EPSME was to create um, a, a new model for um, learning that would open up higher education to people who are already in work. Also to try and engage with the, the businesses so that we could develop learning that met their business needs. There's various research has been done on the West Midlands um, in terms of the economy, so the Advantage West Midlands um, research, sector skills councils research, um, chambers of commerce and the like have identified a skills productivity um, gap in the area. Numbers of um, school leavers going into higher education is much lower proportionately in the West Midlands than the um, English uh, average. So there's a sort of recognised need for higher education um, covering a wider variety of people in the, in the West Midlands. We've also got um, a very high proportion of small to medium, um, small and medium sized enterprises in the West Midlands, so there's quite a big market um, there and they tend to be the sector of the workforce that don't engage as much with um, higher education, again, with um, statistics that would, would back that up. Yes, it was a need identified by the university from, from work that we've done in the past. At the time we put the, the, the bid in to GIST for the EPSB project, I was involved with um, a collaborative activity with other universities in the West Midlands that was led by Foundation Degree Forward with money from Advantage West Midlands, which is very much working in the same sector. So it's, it's recognised that there is um, an, a need to upskill the local workforce. Stemming back to um, Leach report was probably one of the biggest um, known reports that would be um, relevant.